Hi, this is Professor Angela Rasmussen from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Utah. Today I wanted to go over another example for a circuit that has a BGT, um, applied DC sources, and it's operating in the saturation mode. So in the previous um, example, I already went through all these steps in a lot more detail, so you can review them there. So here is a circuit and we're given again the VCE sat value. Again, that can be found on a data sheet. If not, we can make an assumption of 0.3. And beta is also given as 100. So I'm gonna look at um, the three equations. So remember, I'm gonna put these two values first. I place those two values into the circuit and then I take a loop from base to emitter and collector to emitter. So the base to emitter is gonna be a plus and then a minus and a minus. So plus three minus IB times 10K minus 0 0.7 equals zero. And the easiest is we already have that VE is equal to zero. The loop through the collector to the emitter is gonna be a plus and then a minus and a minus, so plus three minus IC times 1K minus 0 0.2 equals zero. And these can be directly solved since we only have one variable for each. So IB is just gonna be 2.3 over 10K, and that gives a value of 230 microamps. And the IC is just 2.8 over 1K for a value of 2.8 milliamps. We can then get IE if we want from that current summation equation. So now we're gonna take these values for the um, IB and IC and plug them in. So we have 2.8 milli for IC and 230 micro and that gives a value of 12 which is a lot less than the 100, and so therefore we are in saturation. So this is another example where, okay, oops, we, re we designed this, but we thought it was gonna be in the active mode, it's not. What condition would we need to change a resistor in here so that we are in the active mode? So, to do that, again, we're going to use, we're going to have IB is going to be the same loop, so we're going to be able to use the IB as 230 micro. But again, when we're looking at this design, we're looking at staying in the active mode, so IC is going to just be 100 times that. And so we have 23 milliamps for IC. And RC, or VC equation, is going to be plus 3 minus IC times 1K. And so we can use um, the VC of 3 minus IC is 23 milli times our unknown of RC. This value needs to be greater than or equal to VB, which is gonna be 0 0.7 volts. And that's because VE is zero, VB is that zero plus 0 0.7. So now we can solve this. We can bring the 23 milli times RC over to the other side. And then we have three minus 0 0.7 and we can divide that by 23 milli, and we get 2.3 over 2, 23 milli, and we get 100 ohms. Again, if we use this exact value, that puts us right on the threshold, which is usually not good if we add any AC signals, so we wanna be well into the active region, so you could use 50 ohms as a starting, a starting value for this kind of a design. So, the equals is the threshold and anything less than or equals is going to be, or less than will, will be better into that active region for an amplifier. All right, thank you for watching this example.